The founder of one of the most popular karting marketplaces, Joker's Stash, has retired having amassed a fortune of over US$1 billion, according to blockchain analytics firm Elliptic. Per cybersecurity firm Gemini Advisory, Joker Stash claims to keep all proceeds of the marketplace in Bitcoin (BTC). Elliptic estimates that, considering BTC alone, the site also accepted Litecoin (LTC) and Dash Dash, they would have taken a total of at least BTC 60,000 (2.88 billion United States dollars). The revenues earned by Joker's stash can be estimated from the value of incoming cryptocurrency payments to its wallet, as seen on the blockchain, per Tom Robinson, Elliptic's co-founder and chief scientist. Sales dropped over the next two years, reflecting a broader downtrend in carding activity, increased security around card payments has made their theft more difficult, while advances in anti-fraud technology have made it more challenging for carders to make purchases with stolen cards, Robinson said. Moreover, according to him, Joker Stash notified customers in October that he, she had been hospitalized for over a week with coronavirus, while in December Interpol and the FBI announced a coordinated seizure of domains used by the site. Elliptic estimates Joker Stash's retirement fund by considering the fees charged by the marketplace, Joker Stash announced that it would cease operations on 15 February, although the site became inaccessible as of 3 February, Robinson said, estimating that others will take their place at the heart of the cybercrime economy. Meanwhile, when Joker Stash announced its closure on January 15, they said that they will never open again. As reported, another blockchain analysis company, Chainalysis, said recently that the criminal share of all cryptocurrency activity fell from 2.1% (21.4 billion United States dollars) in 2019 to 0.34% or 10 billion United States dollars in transaction volume in 2020. Underscore 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 Every time you make a purchase with a credit or debit card, your card details are transmitted and stored in computer systems. Many of the major hacks of retailers and other companies are motivated by getting hold of these card credentials. Stolen cards have value because they can be used to purchase high-value items or gift cards, which can then be resold for cash. This process is known as carding, and has become a key part of the cybercriminal's playbook. Carding is very profitable in its own right, but it is also used to help launder and cash out cryptocurrency obtained through other types of cybercrime. Source, elliptic underscore 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 learn more, group of men, one company indicted for handling stolen coincheck XEMBTC 1700 in limbo as fraudster won't give the password to prosecutors teaching true story, trader robbed of nearly USD half million in Bitcoin this is how confiscated Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Monero sold by the taxman this multi-billion Bitcoin dump by US Gov could be a drop in the bucket.